today I have an awesome tip for you about how we can very easily copy queries from one workbook to another one. So we have two workbooks open side by side. And if we open the queries and connections pane on each one of the workbooks, to do that, we can go to the data tab and then click the button queries and connections or show queries depending on the Excel version that you are using. We can see that the first workbook has a few queries already built and the second one does not have any queries yet. So the most simple case, let's say the products, let's open the products query. Products query, we can see we have one, two, three, four steps here. It can be four steps, it can be a hundred steps. The way to copy one query from one workbook to the other one will work as easily and as the same way, no matter how complex the query is. So we just need to right click on top of the query we want to copy, select copy, Go over to the second workbook, make sure you have the queries and connections pane open, right click on the pane and choose paste. And just like that, if I open the query, I can see I have the same exact steps there. It's copied. I don't need to worry about it or I don't need to waste my time recreating all the steps again. How do you like that? If you needed to work with the code, you, you were interested in copying the code, in fact, and work with the code outside the Power Query Editor, for example, there's another way of doing it. And that is just by opening your notepad or any other text editor program. And again, go to the query you want to copy. Let's say it's the sales final, select copy, Go to your notepad, right click and paste and boom, look at that. We have all the codes, not only from the sales report, the final, where is it? The sales final query that we copied, but because this query needs all the other ones to work properly, it also, Excel also brought all the code from all the other queries. To separate the code uh, from one query to the other one, we have a line of code that like starts with uh, slash slash before the name of the query to indicate this is a, a commented line of code. So it's not a, a line of code to run, it's just a comment and it indicates the name of the query. Here is where this first query ends, and then we start here the second query and so forth. So if you needed the code for some reason, here you have the code, even identity and everything on your notepad. So that's it.